By the way, it happens in India. Yeah, people yeah. People are jealous of each other when it comes to bodybuilding, man. My brother likes, uh, I don't want to become bodybuilder staying in India. I like can imagine, yeah. It's uh, scary, man. People use, I don't know what kind of weapons or even the sword to just hit like anything. Man. So I saw one of the videos, I could not really digest that. No, no. He was dragged out like anything, man. And he was already unconscious. But they are still beating him up, man. I want to see how how I want to see how <laughs> no, how things have changed. On, oh, hey, look, look at, at that! Look at that! Here, you see the first video six years back. Oh my God! Wow. So I did not do after like fi for five years. I had a break. Yeah. Thinking, just thinking, like okay, someday I'll do it. Someday I'll do it. I was like, okay, this is the time I should do it. So, but in those six years, you got married. Yeah, you I lived really life. Not. You got so much experience that you can share it, man. Oh my God. But I like how, like, your font radically, like, yeah, completely yeah. changes. Yeah. It's so, and it only took you, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven videos. You realized, <laughs> you realized that it's uh, not working out, so try something. Yeah. Keep changing, keep changing. And, and it's also about guests, man. Some guests were, like, they have fan following, and they're wild, man. They just talk anything. It's like a uh, revelation, man. Exactly. And then other guests, you just have to be like, oh. Yes. <laughs> no, do you do a lot of live shows as well? No. I haven't tried. I should. Because I think ATM Pro will help me with that. Mm. You can do live shows. I've been thinking about doing live <laughs> shows, but I think a lot Maybe of the... Maybe panel, dis panel discussion will work. That would definitely Three, work. Three, four, five people together. Absolutely. I think one-to-one, uh, -one, I think or it's... Or you can do the event also. You can, if you are I mean, interested in going completely into it, you can have a proper uh, vision for yourself. I would True. Say, I, I would say, like, plan like a company. True. Vision for the final summit, man. You know, where True. Everyone comes up and you ask questions on stage. True, 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 true. I, I think the problem with... The, uh, the I think the only problem is that... Uh, I don't know uh, your viewers. Are they mostly Bahraini or outside? It's mostly Bahraini. Outside, not much, but Bahrain. Because my viewers, 60% are from South America. Oh. I don't know why. Which is good. I, I, is yeah, it? Yeah, sometimes. I know. If you go and check Spotify or anything, with the iPad, you know, uh, Apple, mm. then you will see that's US. Yeah, it's weird, right? What is this? Man? Why are they watching us? <laughs> you don't market it to them, nothing. Because but for what reason? They're interested in content. Man. Very true. Very, very true. Very true. Here, no, nobody even reads a uh, blog of anybody. Yeah, forget about the podcast. Man. Nobody watches a story from anybody. It's going to be working out soon. I feel like people are going to realize that, okay, this is this is something that's part of everyone where they have to share something, you know? That makes them more human. I think in another five years. Five years? I think so. You mean, maybe, yeah. That's is what m my stomach is telling me. <laughs> <laughs> that we're way too ahead, yeah. and I think it's gonna take. Uh, I think it's gonna take more time for the wave yeah, to, come. to come. And I our region. exactly, and I, I think we're way ahead of the curve. And I think the problem is the people who are gonna be the biggest are gonna be in Saudi Arabia and UAE. Yes, I think that's what my my gut instinct is is telling me. They're picking up. People are picking up. Because you know these countries also Saudi Arabia and UAE will also push content. Mm. You know, they're going to reward creators. They're going to, like, market really them. Not? I think so, yeah. I think y we're going to see, in the next five years, podcasters that, that uh, uh, get sponsored, like, in a big way. Yeah, people will see that. Yeah, yeah like, they'll start putting them because in the newspapers. Podcast is not just now audio. Like, if, if, you, if you see five years back, one of the reasons maybe I did not go for it because it was uh, mostly audio. So... Not everybody is into kinesthetics and the audio stuff. Everyone wants visuals, man. And now visual, another challenge is like uh, they have, they don't have the attention span. Everyone complains to me like, why uh -huh. your content is more than one hour? Man, this is not like, you know, you are just taking some uh, TED talk, uh, you know, philosophy stuff. Exactly, there exactly. Is more to it, there is experience he's sharing. Exactly. He or she, whoever it is. But also, nobody's telling you you have to watch the whole hour either. Yes. 
right? You can also just pick it up. Yeah. You, yeah. Pick, we are trying to put the time uh, time stamp. You can do that on YouTube. Yeah. Things are much easier than. But don't you feel like with your timestamps that you you get you get your viewership very weird? Yeah. yeah. Because it goes like this, and then it goes like this. It is. What to do? <laughs> you try your best to you know keep it you know it's a storytelling way. I try my best to be present when I'm talking to the guest. Of course, I tr I do my homework, but I have to check the background. I have to check whether uh, they have uh, shared something before so that I can really go through it. Sometimes if you are asking the same thing, there is no point. I have to ask something new. You know, sometimes some guys have already given the interview somewhere. So I just, through that, that, uh, that space, I try to see if there is any, any story I can pull it out. Some guys have emotional story, so I can pull it out and that makes much better podcast. I agree. No, I agree. I mean, I do the total opposite. Mm. I, I try <laughs> to, to know as little as possible. Yes. Because that way, I that is one of the ways. Yeah, because because I imagine that the most people who watch and listen don't know you or don't know me, and so I try to be them yeah. and think about well. <laughs> I think it's right, right. You were saying because uh, if I am preparing too much, you know, I'm like okay, I'm trying to know what is already known. Unknown is much better, mm. much interesting. I try to you know play around with the questions so that it comes out because uh, people what they share is not complete story. Yeah, because what what we see is not really it is one of the challenge anybody really understands in their life. I mean, uh, uh, the best way I can put it, everyone thinks that it is uh, like uh, they are just saying the story of what happened, not exactly what happened. So my question will be, what happened actually? Mm. Not a story which is running in your mind, mm -hmm. but if you really you know dig in you get to know that that's not the real, real story. And they also realize that, okay, that, w that wasn't the real story. They, they, they get to know that, okay, my parents were not wrong. They were right. Mm. What they're doing is right. So you are open to it. You accept it. The same with the Mount Everest guy, right? It's, it's not just about him climbing Mount Everest. It's about the process of climbing it, right? Talking about the process, man. He was too good, man. He is too good, man. Mohammed um, Isa mm. is coming for second time. He's still good, and he knows how to really uh, tell the stories. He, I think he's also, isn't he a content creator? Yeah, the he's yeah, content creator, he's author, he's uh, editor. So right, he's right, I remember, I remember, I remember. If you know him, Karak Chai, if you go check out book, mm. you'll find Karak Chai for customer service. Oh. So I think he is really doing good work for the last 10 years. Be honest, did you read the book? Uh, no, no, I read <laughs> only, only one of his book, okay. which is related to youth entrepreneurship. Okay. But uh, what I try to do is during podcasts, I try to find out what is really Karakcha is all about. You know? So he was revealing in first uh, podcast uh, all the ideas about customer service, what is messing up whole system. If you see in our region, we have this problem. We take it lightly on customer service. There is a lot you can improve if you just work on service. You know? There True. are some guys that don't have the whole setup. But they know how to really, you know, do that customer service work and get that job. Y you know what? What I think it is, I think it's distribution. Yes. You know, because I feel like the, because I, it, it doesn't matter how good your content is, if people can't access it. Mm -hmm. And so what we've discovered, what really helped us, is that w we we post questions on Reddit, mm -hmm. on one account, and then we answer it that question with a different account from content that we've already made interesting right and so so it'll come up on the feed and when people are looking up questions they see oh somebody already asked that what was the answer and then they find our podcast or our show and that's how we're we're generating oh, a lot more views yeah. that way that's a good idea too. it's uh, you try it uh, i'm telling you it works out then you know, we, uh, sometimes i f i don't search on youtube mm. instead i search on just google directly you search it will give you a specific video answer for that uh, whether it is design or anything so you are catching the exact experience from somebody so absolutely oh, what you can also do is if uh, dan can you open a new link on google trends google trends huh yeah and then if you have like a guest on who's like i don't know uh, let's let's say mount everest whatever can you yeah. type in mount everest yeah one of 
interesting way. And then it'll give you a whole host of what people are looking for. C and can you change it to the US? Or worldwide? Worldwide. And then you can see what related terms people are looking up, what related queries. And you can be like, oh yeah, 14, uh, 14 peaks in Mount mm. Everest? That's really interesting. Can you tell me about that? Mm. Because these are like words that people are looking for. And so when you say it in the podcast. You use that word. Yeah. And, and, and because Google with YouTube, they analyze the entire audio and they transcript it. And they use it then for, for finding like content to other viewers. And so if you make sure that you say those words two, three times in the catches show, you. it catches it. And then whoever looks up Mount Everest will find that. Interesting. Oh, you're working very hard. <laughs> <laughs> good. No, it's, it's fun. Good share, good share. Yeah. It's good fun, you know? It's good fun. Google Trends is, is really cool. Uh, but you said you don't really like SEO, huh? Uh, I tried in the beginning. I, I was using you know, a tube buddy version. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really I was right. like, uh, you, you're just cr trying to copy somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. what did you do? You were trying to be second one. And you're copying a copy, right? Yeah, you are you will be second one. I, like, I didn't use for like after uh, first two months. After w uh, one year, they're asking for new renewal. I was like, no, I'm not interested. Let me go on something natural. Mm, mm, mm. But we, you, there's a really good, there's a really good application you should check out. It's called... Uh, Murray, can you type in, um, sorry, Dan, I know you're <laughs> recording a clip. Can you type in SEO? I'm trying to remember. Uh, that's the one, first link. SEMrush? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're really, really good as well. Yes. Especially if you're, if you're looking for key terms and okay, stuff I'm like that. Change the website also. Yeah. But they're expensive, though, I think. Yeah. So Number you do. One. Yeah. Number one. And I have, I have seen some. Some of them tried SEMrush and they have, uh, and it got that got that saturation level, I mean peak level, yeah. Uh, promoted very well even the blogs, with the SEO, not just uh, podcast. Do you transcribe your podcast? No, you have natural YouTube transcription. I use I tried uh, even uh, Descript. Mm -hmm. That works. Sometimes I do that. You just take out content and use that. In fact, even you can put it. For uh, Instagram, I tried some some time before. Because I, I know a guy, uh, I know a guy who he takes his 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 entire podcast, transcribes and transcribes it, and then puts it and translates. He can, but he uses it as blog post. Yeah. Right, and so when somebody types in a certain keyword into blog Google, post. that blog post then comes up, and that blog post then takes you to the video. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so I think Value Tenman does the same thing. If you know who is Value Tenman guy, he is he is another gem man. So he knows, like he writes whole content by there, and gives you PDFs, whole stuff, and you gives you videos. So much of value out there, man. I'm like, but uh, that's that's the problem, right? It's yes. the problem isn't the value or the content. The problem is distribution. Mm. You know, and that's the biggest hurdle, mm. because it's it's so hard to grow a larger audience. Yeah, if you're not constantly on different platforms, like we we post on on Daily Wire. Mm. We post on uh, Rumble. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to Rumble get also, huh? yeah. We're trying to get away from from YouTube, YouTube. because I think I, see. I think if if one day it's YouTube something new, yeah. yeah. But if one day YouTube says to you, hey, you know what? We don't like your content. Then what do you do? You're you. <laughs> it's happening. Exactly. Directly, it's happening. They're not really promoting for you. Man. It was not like before. People used to search easily, and content was easily. If you see old videos, people have got thousands of views. Now, why it is not happening with the people who have great content, with great quality, <coughs> high, high grade, I mean, 4K and 60p, whatever you can say, but still it's not working, why? <laughs> That's <laughs> why, right? It's they want you to spend it on ad sales. It's becoming more commercial. Yeah. <sighs> and uh, the way it is going, content is going like, you know, it's, uh, it's like a trend and negative energy is more attracted. I don't know why it's like that. But it's because so it's, it's how we survive, right? Because it, 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 everyone it, is tuned to that. Exactly, right? Because because whatever is negative is dangerous. Yes. So that's why our brain immediately survival recognizes mindset, it. You know, everybody wants like, okay, how can I survive the situation? So everyone is making same content. 
have you seen man if you see uh, you know the netflix now i see when you search it's all survival stuff how it sells everyone goes for survival videos and content and it's interesting also you know it <laughs> that's you the worst <laughs> yeah you get hooked up man i'm like no this is something it's making you a survival mode can you can you go on youtube and type in bear grills and we can just have bear grills in the background <laughs> since since we're doing anyway a survival bit, we can just have him just chilling and just turn off the audio. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, and then we can have that just as a background. You watch? <laughs> Do you watch? Bear Grylls? Uh, not much, but very little. Yes, I, I haven't watched him in a long very time. Famous because of survival stuff. And well, yeah, I mean, he's he's peeing in, in, in some cup and he's going to drink the pee now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they cut it. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's naked now. Okay. Jeez. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Come on, man. Thank God. This is my favorite podcast so <laughs> far, by the way. This is the first time that me, yeah. and a guy, <laughs> me and another guy are watching Bear Grylls. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? Bear versus All the big stars, he's doing it like almost like a podcast now. He's getting guests. Is he really? And getting, getting big stars, no? Presidents. Superstars, really and making it like uh, you know Netflix stuff. I haven't seen, but I see the thumbnail every time popping up. So he's pulling out a lot of content, man. I, I mean, with successful, successful, right? Yeah. If it works, it works. No, uh, I also see that like everybody is like having this you know survival mode in their mind, with the thinking that okay, the world is gonna end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. what is my next plan? Even I do that. I, th I do that also. I'm not, uh, I cannot say that I am not doing it. Everyone is doing it. But you Some th other way. You think really the world is going to end in Bahrain though? I mean, two days back, what happened in Dubai, everybody was like, okay, Dubai got an earthquake, six, pl six plus magnitude. Uh, this is almost near. It's almost near to high. That's true. That's true. That's true. You so mean anything like can happen, you know? Like a and like a tsunami. In the water. <laughs> so you're worried about like a tsunami, like Japan? Uh, yeah. That why would be, not? Yeah, that would be crazy. So if it happened in Iran, and the effect was on Dubai or UAE. It can happen in Bahrain also. It's not too far. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I never thought about that. I thought about war, famine, that kind of stuff. That is about to come anyway. Though, but before that, if natural calamities come, where, where are you? That's that's fair. But I think I think the island is pretty protected. You know, places that are going to be it like is a blessing. Exactly. One of the thing is blessings we have. Exactly. Maybe we should go to a smaller island. Yeah. Maybe that's the. <laughs> Much scarier, man. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no, but maybe it's. I think like somewhere in the Maldives, somewhere where it's a really small island, you know, yeah. where there's only like a hundred people. Yeah. I think th that might be the something like that. So I have been watching few content on that. Mm -hmm. The uh, content which is building their own community and makes sense, man, because indirectly there is good also happening. Bad bad things are also happening. Bad thing is for getting the power all over the world. The world stuff in a world order thing mm. okay, that is happening what is your plan for that so some of the older guys and elderly people i know who are like mentor to me they're like we should have our own community go somewhere else take a place and some of them are already doing it i don't want to reveal so yeah, some yeah. of them are already doing it they're getting people involved people are spending on that and they're ready to go for it uh, as and long it will happen i think so as well it will happen anytime soon I think so as well. I think so. So as well. they're gonna stay there. The currency they will have their own currency, their own uh, uh, living style, or uh, even their hospitals, their own schools. I so think they so. are coming out of all this happening. The sheesh out of them. <laughs> no, I I, th I think I think with the whole world order thing, I'm with you 100 percent on that. And I, I, but I think that they're gonna do it like in smaller communities. Like they're gonna, ha it's gonna be like like maybe some parts of like outskirts of South Africa, mm -hmm. maybe South America. You know, stuff like that, where, where there's not a lot of control, there's not a lot of anything. Yeah, they are, uh, e even because fewer, because 
problem is we pull each other's leg, man. I agree. It's I agree. Okay, if you uh, there is a culture thing, but I have what I have seen is our side or you take it Asia itself, Asian except for Russia, I don't know much about them, but we are pulling each other, man. If we really you know help each other, maybe there is a chance, but I don't think so. The way the culture has gone. I don't think we will have a proper community thing, man. We will kill each other, maybe. <laughs> the only the only culture I can think of that that helps each other is Japan. Yeah. That's the only country. And they have shown it. Exactly. Last, last five six decades, they have shown it. Yeah. They they have gone through so much, but they got back, and everything is like number one for them, man. Whatever they do, man. Even, man, I I I got a machine from them which is too old and that machine gives the gives the best water we, you have and that itself is giving me like an uh, impression that how japan people are thinking they go to the root cause they uh, they understand what is very important in their life I, I not only that but i think they're they're so dedicated also to to mm. to the community you know when they what there was that they had that nuclear incident not the horishima where um, one of their nuclear plants had a meltdown. And so all the old g- engineers that have been already retired put their hand up saying, we will willingly go mm. and to that nuclear site and die so the young people can survive. That will not happen anywhere else in the world. No yeah. way. Can you imagine that happening in, in the US yeah. Or, yeah. or Europe or, or India or Pakistan or anywhere? No way. No way. No way. <laughs> <laughs> we will be protecting them. Right? Exactly. Like all youngsters, get ready. The oldies are getting, you know, getting old now. We have to take care of them. Exactly. Right? Japan is the only country where the old people said, no, we, we, wa- we will go. Because their age limit is going up uh, above nine, 90 plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are like 60, we are already, come on, 60, 50, we are already feeling like dead, man. Uh, you, you I'm 30 and I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm tired all the time. Yes. We are comparing with somebody who is like, yeah, they know the stuff, man. Uh, even uh, maybe I think they have a strong communication within them. I, but they also like, they also diet and the food is and everything mm. is so good. Mm. You know, mm. here, McDonald's, whatever. They understand really well the stuff, man. I mean, uh, I was talking about the machine. Mm. I have this machine. It costs you like uh, uh, 2,000 dinar. Mm. You won't believe me. I mean, I'm having that. I understand the battery. What is the machine, first of all? It's it's a water uh, electrolysis. Uh, oh, machine. okay, 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 okay. Just fix it in your kitchen. Yeah. It's like a zam zam water coming from. No, oh, really. Alkaline, electro, uh, electro, you know, nice. antioxidant. Yeah. And very fast absorption. Nowadays, if you drink any water outside, it's like uh, in your uh, stomach, it's like swimming there. Yeah, 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 if yeah. You yeah. eat anything, it's uh, swimming there. It's not absorbing. And this water is it's quick it's like any uh, if you're taking any protein shakes it's gonna be quick so they are even using this machine water for curing many things oh really they, they can use it for uh, dis- disinfectants mm. they can use it for good water high quality water also if you have any cancer related stuff also Dan, look it up what the look show me a picture of the machine so i can understand how it looks like Go Thank for you, Dan. Uh, C- uh, K-A-N-G-E-N, Kangen. Because a lot of people are listening will be like, what a machine, how does that yeah, work? How does they attach touch with me. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We'll put, we'll put your reference here your yeah. on the bottom half. You can half. check here. I really uh, feel oh proud shit. sharing about this. It's very simple machine, but it has stuff inside which gives the best water. This is the normal one. You go up, up uh, for the best one, they have the standard one also. It looks like a small box mm-hmm. uh, compared to the whole world, which they have uh, so many there. Uh, it okay, this is one of the well-known guy who is having this. <laughs> show me that. Wo- show me that picture with that woman. He's no. he's not well-known also. If you check out Indian. I will. I will. No, no. Go down. Go down. Sorry. Go down. Go down. Go down a little bit. Go down a little bit. There, that one. That yeah. one. There, on left, on left. That one. Because that's how I would do that with the machine. <laughs> okay. I love the marketing. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's how I would use the machine too. <laughs> I would sit in a forest. <laughs> so 
sometimes these mach- these marketing things yeah, unbelievable yeah, yeah. They are not marketing in the way that traditional marketing is done. No, way. definitely not. This is not very it's traditional. Not, not <laughs> traditional one. Uh, the way they mar- market is a direct direct marketing. Oh yeah. This is another uh, uh, way of getting your uh, product to the right people. You know, you don't. Uh, you will not see much of the company itself promoting their product. This is done by people who are buying. Oh, oh word of mouth. Okay, I get where you come from. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Word of mouth and the way it is helping each other, not just with the you know buying machine. They have a plan where people can even make money out of it. Oh, okay. Like a uh, like a uh, like network. a pyramid scheme. Yeah, like, like a network. network. Yeah. So the uh, the problem is uh, people don't know that uh, the direct marketing is different from the network marketing we are talking about. Mm. So direct marketing is completely different from uh, the the scheme which we see. Like okay, you go to a few people and you spread it. So which I have done before. I have seen, uh, I have tried that and have reached to level where you call like a diplomat, you know? Okay. So, uh, which is completely different. And we can talk hours on that because many people don't know. There is and a then misconception. Uh, and then every time that somebody that you sold, sold to, you get money, right? Y- yeah. Yeah. It, it's like any, okay. It's like a pyramid, right? One of, the, w- that was pyramid thing. Like, okay, uh, those guys were keep promoting, you'll get, uh, sure. Money back to back, but here they have something called eight point system. Mm-hmm. Japan is known. Mm-hmm. The eight point system is patented. Nobody can do it. Mm-hmm. So they o- they they only know how to like till where one can get money from their people. Oh, okay. okay. So it's okay. not like you are sitting at home. You are making money. Mm. What happens is at the end the company ends, and people who are in the beginning are making money only. Here it's like uh, the guys uh, will get money on their efforts. Okay, they're promoted, they're directly selling it. If, uh, if they're directly selling it, you're getting their commission. And the point system makes it much clearer, mathematically, mm. and makes sense. It's not just like you are throwing out something out there. So uh, out, uh, no, after having so much experience in uh, network marketing business, uh, because it, you don't join m- network marketing business only for making money. You As make it for connections. Connections. Plus, when I was in 20s, I tried it. When I'm, uh, I'm into engineering, in the middle of engineering, you're getting into this. Someone like me, who never even, uh, s- you know, sitting with somebody with who can really speak to me properly. I was like, mostly, uh, you can say, who is always stammering and never able to speak to more than five people, maybe. So... Now this you speak to thousands of people. I can. You know, <laughs> it's something which if you are joining, you're going to learn. Mm. And mostly our youngsters need it. Something which they can try. Before they used to have this like you know, door-to-door selling thing. Now we don't see those things, which is not safe. And nobody's doing it. My grandfather used to do that. Yeah. He used to sell vacuum cleaners door-to-door. And those people are much, much stronger when, when it comes to business. And they know and the value of like reaching thousand people and getting only 10 best clients, 1,000 ratio. Mm. When they say this ratio, I'm like, come on. I, I'm checking out internet only specific. OK, this guy mi- might take interest, so I will target that guy only. We research a lot and go for that. And if it fails and we are in depression, you know, look at those people. They're going to 1,000 people, knocking doors, and learning how to know and have that perseverance and patience and have that spit on your face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tell them yeah. to get out of here. Yeah. Come on, Annie, look, look at them, how strong they are. Might be emotionally. And whoever uh, gone through that phase and that trial, that, that kind of uh, training, uh, they are very successful, I think. Uh, and it's more than that, I think. It's not just that they're really successful. I think it's, it's that they're not afraid of rejection or failure. Yes. That's, that's a point, yeah. Mm. They, d- they, d- they don't see this rejection like, okay, come on, you rejected. There are thousands of people out there. So s- same thing if we think about you know, having in our life. You know, same way, like you, if, uh, if you are always worried about survival mode, you know, I'm trying to connect whatever we talk. If you are always thinking about survival mode, what's the point? And you think about the opportunities, the possibilities, you know. This is one of the lessons I learned, you know, and who am I? Always a question, like cliche question everybody has. But in reality, uh, who am I? You, if you make it like I am possible, not, not just a poster on your wall, 
but if you really think about it like okay i am possibilities yeah. then you define yourself the different possibilities you can be a love you can be a, you know a connection you can be a contributor you can be a lot of uh, redefinitions of yourself so this way it makes you more open to many things so but we are like okay come on man, i'm always depressed i also feel like and if you ask me after ramadan how was it man i was very depressed <laughs> But do you, do you think that depression comes from from people not going outside? Think about it this way, right? How often do you go outside? Yeah. Right? That is the point. Yeah. It's always solitude is not a good thing. To exactly, have. you know? You should try out something. Out. But but when we go outside, we we go where? We go to coffee shop, restaurant, maybe yeah. see a friend's house. We don't go outside to go for a walk. We're social beings, man. Yeah, yeah but how often do you go for a walk? You know what I mean? Yeah. How often do people go for camping? They say, you know what, I'm going to go camp tonight. I hope pe people don't forget that. I hope so too. I, it reminds me of uh, the life which I had as a student. Man. I, I'm not like a top you know, uh, distinction guy all the time. I was in the beginning, I might be like not interested in studies. It was revenge maybe made me to t get into studies seriously. And but during those days, uh, I had great teachers. Uh, I mean, all due respect to them. Some always like, you know, whenever they speak to you something very uh, difficult words, it's fine. But all teachers, they have tried best to bring best out of you. So in my case, I was uh, maybe like 80% of the time outside of the school. Okay. Camping, you know, those camping stuff. It's not just camping. Making trouble. Finding uh, people. In India, we call it, if you guys know, uh, it's a national credit corps. Mm. That is something our region should have, man. Uh, scouting, national credit corps. These kind of training uh, really changes you. It brings out of you uh, the best. Man, there are so many stories that are there, man. But the way the training uh, puts you in difficulties, uh, it makes you realize that, okay, you can do any any issues outside outside of this y yes so w w when i was is when i was a sc still a younger guy they forced me to do like like military training you know yeah um and i was with a friend i didn't know him first time i met him and we were doing this military training camping outside you know doing uh, routines marching blah 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 i was i don't know 14 16 something like that and he goes, no worries, I've, I've already been in military school. And he, I go to him, oh, perfect. So you know how to do everything. So you tell me, and we can build it. Mm -hmm. And he tells me, okay, you know, these two trees, we get a piece of rope, we tie it between the two trees, mm -hmm. then we put, like, the plastic, because we had to go, they, they instructed us to go in the middle of the woods. Whatever you find in the middle of the woods, that's what you build. Yeah. That's, that's what you're going to be sleeping on, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so I was relying on this guy. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's already, he already been there. He already knows. And I was like, okay, put it all together. And I look at it like it was like a string, two trees, and the plastic was so heavy that it bent the string down. And I look at it and go, this doesn't look right. This doesn't look right. <laughs> and then by instant, I was asking him, I was saying, like, what happened, you know, with the military school thing? And he goes, I was expelled, he tells me. And I go, oh my God, you know, it must be really tough. Well, blah, 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 he got expelled. For that? For, for no, 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 for, for, for something. He didn't say what. Mm -hmm. And then like, we, we f keep on building, we build a campfire, you know, we try with the wood, you know. And then um, finally, again, it's not working. And I go, why were you expelled, by the way? And he goes, oh, because I was, I was very shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's revealing. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was just it pretty bad. It happens in camps, by the way. It was. It you was get to know the real person in the camps. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You, you did it in uh, Bahrain or it's, no, no, it's no, no, UK? no, 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 no. I was in the UK. Okay, they have this. Uh, I think uh, the same culture they had it in India also. Mm. This, uh, I think I should promote about this. If anybody watching any from India, uh, if you uh, happen to you know join your kids to this, go for it. Means it's. I think after age 13 i can they, they can go for it i was sergeant i was corporal and i was able to go to the camps where uh, they have firing fire training S yeah 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 fire training man i was like i i was able to hit within one centimeter i was like wow this makes me more you know confident you should go for it yeah 
So it's not only training like only about gym and jiu jitsu. There are so many things you can do, and it's for free, man. It's even better. But th th the government gives you for free. Did you, did you ever touch the the barrel at the end? Oh, who will do that? <laughs> one of my friends. <laughs> exactly. Uh, one of my friends. Uh, the whole thing is going on. Okay, the firing is going on, and uh, we were we were on site, and everybody is hitting on the you know targets. Uh, the friend of mine, he's at corporal level also. I told him once uh, everything is done, go get the targets. I don't know what he was thinking, man. In the middle of fire thing, he's trying to walk in. I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Everybody is like shouting at him. Then he realized, okay, fire is still going on here. <laughs> because you know, what happens is, you, uh, till they say like, okay, it's done, uh, you should not go there. Mm. And mm. it might be, sometimes me, I, I used to wait till everybody finishes to hit properly, you know, and take full breath and hit proper bullets. And you, you never know, somebody's walking, you'll be killed, man. For, 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 for us, we had always one idiot named Duncan. Duncan, if you're watching. And we were, we were having this, we, um, what were we shooting with? We shot with some shotguns, we shot with some handguns, and we also shot with some rifles. Wow. And I think we were, sh we were shooting with some rifles at the time. You, got, you were given these things? W not, we, we were shooting range. It's dangerous, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like 16, but so was military school. Wow. And um, I, remember, I remember we were there with Duncan, and, and you know, at the end of the barrel, there's like, there's th this model, I don't remember the model anymore. It had like four holes, and that was in order for the pressure of the bullet when it escapes from the barrel in order to, 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 to dissipate heat. And I remember talking to Duncan. I was like, you know, they have that four holes. It's order to, to cool the barrel. So the barrel is very cold after shooting. Yeah. <laughs> and he went to touch really? He burned all his fingers. <laughs> I got in trouble for that as well. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope they did not take you out of the school. No, no, no. Yeah. I, got, I think I got kicked out for a different reason. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. So do you still enjoy shooting or not so much anymore? No, man. How you will go for not that? here, of course. Of course. I mean, not here. So you can go here. shooting range in Saudi. Really? Yeah. Allowed? Allowed now, yeah. You can own handguns the in Saudi. The guys in pa Pakistan, they do a lot. But in India, I, I come from Bangalore, uh, Madikeri, all those sides. Mm. Uh, in, in that state, one of, the, one of the districts, they had this permission to do this. And they can go for shooting range. Shooting. Mostly they go for like um, Tigarak. I mean, I'm not really into proper, uh, you know, It's shooting. just fun, yeah. Because they have this coffee mountains and all, maybe they need it to work on their work. Or animals and stuff like that for hunting yeah. as well. They have a lot of, like, I mean, s big thing is a lot there, I mean, so not just cow, man. So it's different case there. It's not just that. I mean, in, 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 in Saudi, you can get hunting license now. Really? Yeah. And they have gazelle. They have uh, all kinds of birds. They are not allowed in India. In, in Saudi, you can go and then you can get a hunting license. Anything. One of the stars was uh, known for that, man. It Salman Khan. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. He was into that problem. What happened with that story? Didn't his son get arrested? It's You are talking about Shah Rukh Khan. Man. Shah Rukh Khan, yeah, sorry. But I got completely <laughs> mistaken with it too. Sorry. Shahrukh, <laughs> if you don't know Salman Khan, means it's difficult. Salman Khan know. is is the prime minister of Pakistan, no? Oh no, no that's no, uh, Imran Khan. Imran Khan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I get confused all, all, by all the all names. All these guys are like you know the top viewers here, you know. Okay. You you see your will increase here. <laughs> <laughs> so Salman Khan is one of the you know well-known stars which got into this problem of firing. Okay. Firing, I think. I don't know which one you, you guys know, black blacks one or Salman Khan was got you know caught up for this. Yeah. He hit in Rajasthan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this was the car thing. Yeah. Th but did he supposedly killed eight people or was it six people with a car? He drove no, over them. He, I think one or two men, not every. <laughs> I thought they <laughs> were just people. sleeping next to each other. Uh, that was driving car on. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then he claims that he didn't drive. He claims that drive the driver did it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think the case is resolved yet. Because it's still going on. Uh, the, uh, it doesn't matter. In, in people, they, they, they can play around. Yeah. Exactly. It's know the the case happening. is done anyways. Khalas. People are watching a good side of him. So it's fine. Yeah. 
because he's been doing a lot, uh, like 90% of his, uh, uh, what do you call profits, he's sharing with, uh, you know, uh, underprivileged people. Or do you think that's true or do you think that's bullshit? Yeah, yeah it's, it is. You think so? Yeah, it is. The people are, uh, the fans of him are really like, uh, and you can say freaking man. Uh, they have like, they can do anything for him, man. That kind of fan, fan following he has. Uh, I think he's in the top now. He's in the top. After Shah Rukh, you can say. People lo- love Shah Rukh here, but uh, Salman is like, I mean, worldwide, he's also getting that. Who's older? Both are almost the same age. Really? B- both each uh, know each other. If Imagine if these two people coming to Bahrain together. It, uh, there was a news, by the way, that uh, all the three Khans are going to come to Bahrain. What, soon or? or uh, not now. I'm not talking now. about like 10 years back. Oh, ah, okay. Everybody okay, okay, was okay. waiting uh, in the airport something that news, news was there. And this is my father telling me, and I'm like, come on. It never happened in India. You were, you're talking about Bahrain? Yeah. So it was a there. There was a news that it, it it is going to happen, and they were supposed to go. The, all three were meant to go on holiday somewhere, and they stopped here. <laughs> Never, man. And I, if if it happens, people are so much big fan. Like any, if you, you take Shah Rukh, Salman, and there is one more Amir Khan. Mm. These three people. I only know two of them. The other one I don't know. At Amir Khan, uh, you might have seen the videos and uh, movies of them. because I think they had great movies. Show me. Can you open the picture of all three? This guy, you haven't seen him as maybe. He had good movies. He had yeah. good movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well known. Yeah. Show me images. He had uh, uh, these three people together. I know the guy on the far left. I don't know the the other two. Are they what the same family or something? No, man. <laughs> no. Khan is like a normal surname in India. He looks like a ki- the Sean looks like he's he's uh, like he's a Korean pop star. <laughs> no, you don't think so? He looks like a Korean pop star. I don't know why people love him so much in Middle East, man. I don't know Every, why. Everybody knows Shah Rukh Khan. I, I, well, my first job was teacher job. Yeah. As a teacher, when I was in school, uh, I I never used to have beard those days. Okay. And I used to have nice hair you know and anybody with uh, you know uh, and god took uh, it from here and put it here yeah <laughs> young young guys who are from india mostly people call them like sharuk yeah. oh sharuk khan uh, so i was like can how famous he is and we are getting you know identified because of sharuk <laughs> khan yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I don't doubt it can he can he can he look at can he look at his IMDb or something? Maybe I see one of his films or something like that. So is it Shah Khan then whose son got uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. trouble? So do you think it's bullshit? Or do you think it's true? I think never know, man. You never know. Maybe it was his time to get that exposure. So he got famous for that. Because I thought the whole without sto- even movies, he got so famous. Because I thought his he, I th- didn't he say something like like. Uh, did he say something along the lines, if they don't release my son, the police, you know, I will go and run against the election? No, no, no. No? So what did he say then? He did not say anything. He didn't say anything when his son was arrested? No. Really? He, he was maybe dip, uh, into depression, maybe. Really? <laughs> time. Can, you look, can you look up a story what happened to his son? They released him, I think, and, uh, and, and it was completely like and he was not into it. He was safe. And this is what happens, man. Yeah, drug ch- drug charges dropped. Yes, against Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. Son. Looks like almost like him, man. I mean, he does look like he takes drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> yeah, maybe. He look looks at like the, look it. Look at the eyes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at the. Uh, he but has we never know, man. We cannot judge anybody with the looks, right? Look at the, look at those eyes. Look at that rip jacket. You know. <laughs> this rip jacket. Is look at that rip jacket. After uh, dropping. I know idea of like you know he's being into it. No, I, I think he bought that rip jacket like that. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. This is tight, yeah, man. Can you show me some pictures on Google Messages? At uh, Google Message, Google Images. Yeah, he looks like he takes drugs. I hope 
this is not the right one. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I, I hope, yeah. I hope he this is the, a good one. This, this is the one time that he sees a video <laughs> of the two of us yes. and we're talking shit about his son. <laughs> this is the, the one time, the only time. They wish him the best, you know. Hope uh, something's always good things should come out from people. You know. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be resolved. I'm sure it'll yeah. work out. Even I think Shahrukh Khan is doing good things. Kansas, for can Kansas you look? Right can you look up if if he wants to run for prime minister, Shahrukh Khan? I I better they don't do it because now I think uh, see there is license for everything, man. Yeah. Uh, I think politicians sh should also have the license, at least education, man. Okay. Uh, you what? I Come mean, on, you you anybody standing for election. Okay, you are famous. It doesn't mean that you have to stand for election. Well, wh what to did take Imran Khan? Okay, I can I can support him because he was into like 25 years, and that's a huge experience. You know. Okay, but what did wh where did Modi study? Was it he was like all his life was his f into politics. I mean politics. Exactly. Work. So he was he is good into it, and his team is good into it. So he, they are doing it. I mean, Trump was a great president. Yeah, and he was. If you compare to others now, uh, you feel like he's good. You're right. Better than, that. than Biden, and he was all Trump did was be on TV. Yeah. He was just an actor. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Because he is a businessman also, I mean, so he knows where to play the game. Exactly. So politics, man. The when it comes to politics, I got into you know the god interest of politics when I, s I started watching. Uh, Abdul Hamid, uh, no, Sultan Abdul Hamid's Pai Thad, Turkish series. Yeah, I didn't even have to say anything, Dan. Thank you very much. Turkish series. And this is uh, this is a real picture. Okay. But they have made a biopic of him. They made a TV the show. The real story of him, if you start reading, I heard like he had spies all over the world. What? During those days. You think so? And almost all... Uh, uh, you know, countries like, you know, France or any colonies which we are talking about uh, in today's age, they were against him. Really? Yeah, this is one of the series. This looks starting, good. starting from young age, uh, see if you see that, that's a season one, right? It looks good. Abdul Hamid Han, they call. And I have seen all the five seasons, uh, except for last, uh, last few episodes. Can you look at that pie thing? That looks super interesting. <laughs> that picture! That's crazy, against him, man. He stayed in Ram Khanna's Sota and special guest when Nawaz uncle was able to enter the palace. He invited him into a foreign house and asked him with a duty of spying on the Sultan. This is spying against uh, him? Against him, yeah, the British. Uh, but uh, uh, the books written on him as like he had spies everywhere. Inside the British embassy, Let's inside see. everywhere. And uh, that's how he was able to like survive for 33 years, man. Mm -hmm. Running empire, not just like government around. Yeah, empire yeah, yeah. for like 33 years it's when there bad. was no war. It's not bad. People were planning to have first world war during those days, and he never allowed it. Yeah, I mean, he 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 passed away in 1907, right? Yes. Dan. 19. 07, 19, right? 1990, something. Yeah. yeah. So and first world war. Passed, which way of spell? It's after so. 20s, right? Oh, died 1918. Yeah. So that would already been the beginning of the World War. Wh when was it the was be beginning. Yeah, it was the all beginning of World War. All this Illuminati stuff and the World War, you know, uh, uh, World Order stuff, all started there. You think it started there, not before that? During his time. Okay. All okay. Israel thing, all Palestine thing. There was only Palestine during those days. And people came to him for, you know, to buy the lands. Can you can you look up world map 1900? It shows like that. Yeah, I want to see what the world map looked like, because there's countries now that don't exist anymore that were on the map. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it, do, it does really show also. Uh, it would be difficult, right? They yes. don't want to show that kind of stuff. This is 1914. What do we have? So Australia, uh, it China. was his his empire was known for Ottoman. Look, look how crazy that looks. Look how big Russian Empire was. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Look at that. So Ottoman Empire was one of the, uh, you know, uh, ruling one, which was like, you know, taking care. This region, by the way, also. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Ottoman Empire reached all the way to the Middle East and everywhere. 
I mean, I find it interesting. Look, look at the Russian Empire. It went all the way to... to it's the same. Still, they, they have this... Still I think... Uh, some USSR. Part of Europe was there. Yeah. That was but Prussia. They're all the same family, man. That's also true. Yeah. The, Ma uh, the Romatov. The Roma Romanovs, I think they're called. Look how, wha look how big West, uh, French West Africa was. Mm. So imagine the way... Uh, no wonder so many people in Africa speak French. Crazy, huh? It's a French? No. Yeah, that, that whole... It's a British, I think. No, no, it says French West Africa. That's all, that's all okay. French. That's why so, many, okay, okay, uh, that's why okay. so many people in Africa speak no French. No French, huh? Yeah. Nigeria, I think, speaks French. Um, Back down. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Wow. So, I think if anybody is interested in politics, they should watch this series. Man. This series, yeah. This guy made me love politics, man. You know, it's not like uh, w even white lie or something. Mm -hmm. He's playing straight. He has a proof. Whenever he wants to talk to anybody or any other empire, he can nail it down anytime. He was always prepared. Can you look up quotes? And let's see what he what he said. Some are like the crow, they wear it ill will. Where's the pigeons? They carry the necklace of peace. <laughs> His dialogue for Israel was uh, like most famous circulating recently. Oh really? Yeah. Israel didn't exist back in nineteen oh oh seventeen. I think Israel was only founded nineteen forty, something like that. After after all all the wars, can you look that up then? I'm gonna you're gonna be a, you're gonna be abused today by the t amount of times I'm gonna tell you look it up then. <laughs> That's super interesting. Founded? Oh, they didn't even mention founded. <laughs> they, don't, they don't even have founding. E even listed, huh? Founds created. Yeah, 1948. There you go. I knew it. It was just that they came and they started. No, actually, it was um, the UN were deciding where to put the Jewish population. And the UN decided under Stalin. Mm. Originally, they were going to send uh, the Jews into uh, sub Sahara Africa. It's not Jewish. You, you are talking about Jewish. Jewish had their own, own state, man. Egypt and other places. They were able, uh, they are allowed to go anywhere. If you are talking about Jewish, it's not Jewish. It's Israel Zionism. It's a Zion. It's full of Zio Zionism. Zionists, it's you're talking Zionist, about. Zionists, yeah. Yeah, but there's Zionist, Zionist is not just Jewish. Yes, but it's but also uh, even Christians, even Muslims. Uh, no, no, most Zionists are Jews. Israel is I'm almost totally about Zionist. Zionist is an organization which sure. formed during his period. Sure, 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 Sultan sure. Sultan Abdul period, where there were people even uh, even from uh, other religion also. No, I don't doubt that, but but uh, Israel, as where they, because after the Second World War and the large displacement of the, mm. of the Jewish population, they were trying to find where to put them, right? The UN, under Stalin, uh, uh, suggestion, originally wanted to put them in, in, in Africa, but uh, Stalin recommended with the British Empire to put them in the Middle East, mm. which was then uh, Palestine, but then turned into Israel. And that's how, that's how the foundation happened. Can you double check for me that story, Dan? Sorry. <laughs> The origin uh, uh, of, of uh, Israel. I think the origin is that the UN, or just Israel and the UN maybe? Oh, that will just show up. Israel was originally a Zionist movement established in the 19th century in Jew uh, by Jews, okay, why Jews in, why in Russian Empire who created the established territory of the Jewish state after enduring persecution. It's, it's like, any, of course, it's a Jew Jewish, few Jewish people started. The mm. one who started the idea of the flag, even he wasn't there after that. There you go. Jewish, uh, the Jewish uh, sovereign independence, uh, nonetheless achieved in 1948, with Israel de declaring independence its independence. From whom, man? <laughs> well, from the rest of the world, I the guess. The whole world. Yeah, the <laughs> world. They made themselves its own country. Yeah. You tell me, uh, which uh, which are those countries where they don't have independence? Uh, Taiwan. Come on. Uh, uh, there's another one, you another come big from one. That area, man. Uh, that uh, that country, man. It's the British. 
Oh, British Empire? They never had their uh, their own like Independence Day or something. They were the rulers, like you know. Br- oh, okay, British. that's what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. One yeah, is yeah, yeah. British. Okay. And the one is Switzerland. They don't have their National Day or Independence Day. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. I, you're right. You're right. You're right. That's an interesting fact I got to know. You're right. I did never thought about that. Yeah, everyone right. has their own Independence Day or National Day. You're right. D- Dan, can you look up other countries that don't have an, an, an ind- Independence Day? So isn't this good to have a TV here yeah, so we yeah, can yeah. talk and then and see immediately? And we'd see immediately. Isn't that cool? Denmark. Okay. I had a feeling it was Denmark. Denmark and the United Kingdom Denmark. are the only two countries. I yeah, in- interesting, isn't it? I don't know. So, uh, so who was uh, ruling in Switzerland? Uh, I need to check out now. Does Switzerland have a royal family? Swiss. Okay, uh, they have Swiss National Day, August 1st. From whom, man? Was c- first celebrated in, 19, in, in, 19, in 1891. And annually since nineteen nine since eighteen ninety nine. So guys, can you edit my my my, my dialogue there? <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping my it bad, in. My bad, Go guys who are in Wikipedia, good. Keep it real. So at least uh, it is two countries. Yeah, yeah, it's Denmark, United Kingdom. I never thought that the U- that they didn't have inter- Independence Days. That's uh, so, so weird. Much interesting facts about British people, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use that now. Mm. I'm going to say, do you know what, what two, two countries that aren't independent? Switzerland, <laughs> United Kingdom. Yes. <laughs> That's brilliant. So why the name Righteous Rich? Interesting question. Is it? I think yeah. a lot of people would ask that question. Mm, basically, it's like why you started, you know. Righteous Rich is like nobody really, when you uh, ask question on that, basically, uh, the idea is that it's mostly people are getting into materials. You you used a bot to write that. Where? The text there, that's a bot. Ah. That's no, a No, no, no. You did not write that. You did not write, are you no, sick? No, of course, I, tr- I tried a lot of content to go through it. Then I had to come back to this stuff, Yanni. This was, this was not written this by is, a bot? This is some, when, when I said, so let, let me check. I was thinking, uh, this is, no, we have this program, by the way. You wrote we it. Ro- we run this, uh, some uh, similar program, which is for discovery, self-discovery stuff. Yeah. So it is, it is uh, proper content. No, 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 no. But who wrote that text, though? We, I, myself. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Are you, f- are you following your existence on the monotonic patterns and blah, blah, do you find it fits on blah, 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 blah? This is, in, it's like very detailed, mm. but in, in short, it basically uh, comes back to, you know, uh, the soul. It's all about soul, man. The you know the power of soul. If uh, people understand, uh, it's not just about materialistic life. Okay. You have there is much to soul, Yanni. You know, if you go and check uh, on yourself, if you study yourself more on the soul part, that's where we need to understand how the righteousness will help us. Righteous rich is not like uh, okay, you have to have uh, you know a great bank account or something. No, it's more about your, you know, the soul part of you, which really makes you feel whole, complete. You don't have to be Imran Khan, mean, you mean? Religious in the sense, people think religion as, you know, kind of dogmatic or uh, some kind of, you know, uh, you know, no, uh, you know uh, independence there. or It's actually, man, freeing yourself. So do you feel, do you feel like the, this, this show has more to do than with religion as well? No. So but it's independent right religion. Of, yeah. It's it's like you you show you show the right side of it, because what happened is the religion world has been hijacked, and I c- even if you use it, it's uh, it's it's like you are uh, you know uh, letting people go away from you. So it's better not use such words now. People are like you know even if you use now Islam, it's like come yeah. on. I mean uh, Islam has got a different image altogether, and uh, everybody thinks it's all about terrorism and all those things. No, there is so much to it. You, you don't know about it. It's uh, every every religion has something in common, and that's that's the whole thing they are talking about. Yeah, they are not stopping you. It's uh, freeing you. It's more of freeing you. 
which 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 is like a very big thing uh, people don't understand I mean okay can you give it can you give it a little bit of an example of progress you've made with with the with the instructional courses courses on this yeah well it's it's like courses I have facilitated one okay. is mastermind okay about mastermind since you've got a like uh, this is a good point to have uh, okay mastermind is something where I uh, try to get people to share more it's uh, podcast is something it's public right in mastermind it's completely closed and you, you cannot reveal what happened inside and even the members of the in the uh, mastermind ca- are not allowed to talk about it outside of mastermind so when they come inside this mastermind when we are having online or offline they share all their you know struggles all their problems even their experience on that uh, we usually have uh, some you know uh, hot seat thing also in that okay hot seat is something like you know uh, out of 10 let's say 10 people one one get a chance uh, where he can really you know uh, uh, take the help of other members so whatever the struggles he has been going through whether it is depression or anything with their business or anything with his health so where he reveals his some of the struggles and others are allowed to just give advice with their experience not advice directly like you have to do this you have to do that no you you I, okay you're giving gems but you have to give it through your experience so that's where i facilitate what i allow them to do is that in uh, during this period of time and whether it's one hour two hours sometimes it goes for three hours also because uh, hot seat is something you have you, you have to do it within half an hour so uh, other than that we have like conversation let's say essential questions of life some of the questions of life like we discuss in the podcast are discussed there i go very deep let's say you are talking about uh, feeling you know uh, or about integrity so when you say integrity what do you mean what do you really mean what because integrity has so many definitions what is your definition and what do you uh, really have the experience behind it so then they go for like experience sharing on that what is integrity what does it really matter and explain everything from their experience and those who don't know the experience of others makes them understand and have that in their life and they fix their uh, reality because everything uh, everyone thinks that their story is the right story yeah but yeah. when they listen to the stories of others they realize that okay i was in <laughs> in a, in a what you call septic tank you did not know it is so you you basically think outside the box after listening to those people who are in the group isn't that amazing on the podcast you you go through that as well yeah every time you meet a person you have on the show it's amazing but especially because it's such a long form of content yes. and you really can get to know someone and you can understand that's their beliefs. where i get to know someone uh, very well some of my mm-hmm. friends i got to know them very well in the podcast we were like come on we did not know this much before we were meeting every time we never talked about it when you discuss this otherwise it's mostly i go for like camp i was very much actively participating uh, not just participating i organize your toastmasters you're talking about now i'm not talking about you're talking i about never camp. liked toastmaster I, for the some reason i don't know why okay uh, i never liked it but i myself used to organize programs where uh, youngsters were uh, allowed to come and uh, learn from little elders or who are very experienced i used to get someone who is like you know role model also so that they are involved and during those programs we make everybody share man that is missing i mean i don't know what's wrong i mean everybody when they start sharing their experiences they realize man like okay whatever i was thinking it, it was the one one perspective amazing it's it's one perception i had but when you listen to them i'm like man i don't need to read book uh, i'm not saying you should not read book reading book is someone's experience in one perspective but if you are going to sit uh, and listen to somebody like on podcast or camps or uh, some kind of program uh, like facilitating my, uh, my, i know my mastermind thing that's where you really get all the gems man it's like you're taking 10 year course in one year or reading uh, 20 books in uh, you know instead of hours. one books okay no i understand it's where you're coming from it's the smartest way of learning something you know 
And, and how do you choose the participants? How do you reach out to them? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's nothing much secret about it. Uh, one thing is through, uh, when I have been co- I know getting connected with so many people because of the events I used to organize. Some, okay. of, some of the guests who are well known uh, are like Ramana Ali Khan hmm. or uh, Mufti Naik or uh, Zakir Naik's son. And there were so many guests. I I was I was uh, blessed enough to get them uh, when I was organizing. Like a few years back, when you have young energy in you, you want to do something, right? So uh, events were one of the ways I was able to get connected with the youngsters. Okay. So I was able to connect with all the mo- most most of the Bahari news and uh, expats. And during those period, I was able to uh, have great connection with some of the friends in Bahrain and also around the world. And so that okay. has helped me to just to s- just to ask, just I have to just text them like, okay, I have a podcast and uh, I'm trying to do something about it. So I just need to, uh, what you're doing is really good. Okay. So okay. I can have you on podcast. Okay. Everyone has their own experience. Okay. Well, I normally find, I find our guests usually through Instagram or through, through LinkedIn. And I normally try and find people that I'm interested in. Like I saw your drawings, I saw your posts, and I was like, you know what? I think I'll get along with them well. <laughs> and that's when I when I then ask people to yeah, come on. Yeah. And th- because you know, I I don't invite. I have never invited a single person that I don't find interesting. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Because okay. then I I can't sit yeah, and I talk to them. Yeah. Right. You, that's where you get to know, right? Things which I exactly. know you got to know, and uh, what you know I got to know. And and I know I know uh, what you're doing. Exactly. How you're doing. So and so you ru- what kind of events did you go to? This was with Toastmasters. You went with events or yeah. just all events we used to have uh, here by ourselves. Our we had our team, our own team, mm-hmm. which was like uh, with the name uh, was Save and Fair. Then later it became Falak. Okay. It was uh, it was doing really quite good work. And so why did you stop? We were like okay, uh, it's. Uh, Mostly people are not into events. It's not uh, uh, stopped. We can come back anytime. Man. So we, we just have to think whether it is re- re- really required. Because the way things changed after COVID is like making us think like we should, should we go for it? Really? It's that bad? Okay. It's not just entertainment now. You know, uh, sorry, it's not just education now. It's ed- most of entertainment now. You know, Comedians, musicians. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, even... Uh, had an interview of uh, one of the uh, comedian, well-known comedian in U.S. And he himself is not much into into, uh, into comedy. You know. He is into more more of philanthropist work and helping people get married, you know, halal way. And uh, he was one of the guests. I, I think Baba Ali is one of the guests which people should watch. And he, he is very talented, hmm. very talented uh, man. And uh, Mahir Zain was someone I wanted to bring, but the community really, really, I know there is community which doesn't like music and there, there, is, there is community which likes. So it depends on what is the context I have in my life. Why should I really bring? So every time any, any events I did, it was like I have to see whether it is really going to help us. Okay. B- yeah, help us with the uh, youth development, help us with the, uh, the content which we are producing. Or it is it really connecting with the, the way we are teaching things or preaching things? No, it's a good idea, man. I mean, we, we socializing is something is more, more required now. It's nobody does socializing anymore. I, I, I fear that people will forget that. But it's there, there are a few guys, like uh, some of my friends, I mean, they, they call everyone on Eid days. It's like Eid, open house, uh, something like that. So everybody gets to uh, gets to meet there, and that's how you get to know others also. People look at you strangely now when you say, "Yeah, let's do a party, let's do something." Yeah. People look at you like almost like, "What? What are you talking I'm about?" Going for that. Now. Yeah, I'll just sit at home and watch Netflix. Exactly. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. How about? Uh, I think one of the uh, ways I can you uh, know really make good use of time is by uh, going fitness fitness programs or Spartan thing. Yeah. Oh, you mean the gym, Spartan gym? No, it's Spartan gym. They had the events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh, had events, events. events. Spartan events, beast event. I don't know what all they have. But this events is something which also helps you have a teamwork. 
That yeah. owner is so smart. It's unbelievable. They made a. Uh, they are minted really good money out of yeah, the that's Middle East. It's so smart. It's so smart. Yes, I think they should do like because uh, recently some of the movies which has almost what was the Squid was a movie, right? Mm-hmm. Squid Games. So now people are into Squid Game type of stuff. You know, I think UAE already has it. It's mm. not just paintball thing now. <laughs> Paintball is old. Uh, even that one was like, you know, oh, paintball, and you have the gun and the paint, not allowed in Bahrain. Nobody was really taking serious about it. You know. Some of the youngsters wanted to bring in, but nobody's interested. But but for, for me, what's so crazy to me, was uh, sorry to ring you back to Spartan Jim, is, is I- if anyone would have said to me, hey, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the bank, borrow 1 million BD, and I'm going to build the biggest gym in Bahrain, yeah. I would look at them and be like, Who's gonna go? Yeah. Who's that's not gonna make money, and and look at it now. <laughs> yeah, it's every month, and you can go anytime you want to that gym. There's never a parking space available. It's always full. Really? Yeah, it's o- it's always full. It's always full. You can never park in the parking space. You have to park outside. Mm. That's how Just popular idea, it is. The idea of you know having everything mixed. Which makes it uh, cool. Yeah. It's that and boxing and all kinds I of stuff. I was into gym more. In fact, I was uh, you know even into bodybuilding before. Uh, but recently, I realized that. Yeah, who's your favorite bodybuilder? Uh, Jay Cutler. Or Jay Cutler. Yeah, he okay. Was, uh, he never went to top every time, but he he was like a best competitor. They never gave up. Okay. Always stood up for himself. Yeah. Although it was like second, second. It's Dan, put Jay Cutler on. So, but realize that having bulk was, come on, yeah, I mean, it's too too boring. Yeah. He only won one award, right? I or he's a four-time, he no, he's a four-time champion, my mistake. I watched his documentary from Jay Cutler. Always he was getting messed up because of the Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, Ronnie Coleman is what, nine-time? Can you time it, type in Ronnie Coleman? I think he's nine-time. Maskeen, he was not like uh, before now. His his situation is uh, worse now. I, I think he's getting better, but you can see him now uh, like one w- eight consecutive eight consecutive years eight Non-stop. times in a row. Christ Almighty! And every time I think Jay, Jay Kittler was losing against him. Yeah, they 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 was always against these two. You you know what he was? You know he's in a w- wheelchair I think now because he had so many back surgeries. And when asked uh, on an interview if there's anything he would have done differently. And he said, uh, I would have lifted more weights. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, right? Light weights. Uh, you can type in Ronnie is. Coleman now. But we have, uh, I think you can have him as a guest also. In Ronnie Bahrain, Coleman? For Bahrain, we have uh, uh, Sami Haddad. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's Bahraini, yeah. man. Really? Type in Bahraini bodybuilder. It should show up. Someday I'm going to get him, inshallah. Let's message him together. Yes. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's uh, he's an IFBB pro. That's so cool. He's known to be blacksmith, man. Jesus Christ. The he was given by, uh, by the way, the national, the, I think, passport of Bahrain. Because I think he's li- Middle Easterner, but... Uh, Look at his Instagram. Let's see if we can find him. We can we can we can message him, and then we can do a double show. We can ask him about his drug usage. Nah. <laughs> come on. Uh, come on. No way. Wait. You don't think he takes like testosterone? You don't know. I mean, uh, in some point of time, all bodybuilders m- must have gone through something like that to s- just to save their muscles. You know. They must have taken something. Uh, no, it's not like uh, during like uh, for competition they do that, but sometimes if they are traveling or something, they need to take it. You you cannot save your <laughs> muscles all the time. <laughs> Trust me, Annie. Yeah, you but think they as you know, I, I I come from biotechnology background, so nobody can have their muscles always like you know at, p- at peak level all the time. I agree with that. I agree with that. I I, I think it's it's almost unnatural to have a six pack all year round. I don't think no, I don't no, think so. I don't no. think I don't think so. A six pack is always there. You don't need to work hard for that. I think having what like what is it like 8% body fat? Yes. 365 days a year? That's too much. It's 
not good though it's not that's healthy exactly how i do is like like they do it it's off season or on, on season. season yeah when it is off i really enjoy my food even in on season also i enjoy food not like everybody like going into keto too much mm. so that is the way i mean i, I don't have videos i, I wish i could uh, uh, share some of the videos before type in z y z z why is that zaz zaz you don't know him you have to t- you have to get rid of everything else though then yeah images see you <laughs> no are you crazy i would okay. be dead okay uh, you got somebody yeah he w- he was the m- he was one of the most famous uh, uh um i think i'm going to post my all one of the pictures inshallah he was one of the most famous um swimsuit not swimsuit trunks uh physique m- models abercrombie design maybe yeah because there's bodybuilding and then there's physique Abercr- model yeah physique model or whatever it's called yeah, yeah uh, we have so many bahrain man he died from he died from a heart attack at the age of 20 yeah he d- says he died of a heart attack at what was his age can you look at his wikipedia just on google uh i think he was like 20 something russian born australian bodybuilder blah 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 died 2011 yeah hmm 22 not he didn't even make it to 30 He died from an overdose of human growth hormone HGH. Wow. And uh he went to the sauna and his heart just couldn't take it. Yeah. So he doesn't know how to play. Huh? No. See professionals know how to you know really go through it. I agree. I agree. But yeah. He died in Thailand. That's that's maybe he he was murdered. <laughs> <laughs> by the way it happens in india yeah people yeah people are jealous of each other when it come to bodybuilding man my brother like i don't want to become bodybuilder staying in india i yeah. can imagine yeah it's a scary man people use i don't know what kind of weapons or even the sword to just hit like anything man so i saw one of the videos i could not really digest that no no he was dragged out like anything you know and he was already unconscious But they are still beating him up, man. And why did why Because did all the girls are watching him maybe? Why <laughs> did you, why uh, why why did she slap? No, uh, yeah. yeah How can she slap? Crazy. <laughs> man. Yeah, I know, right? Acid acid stories and these things are too much, man. My yeah. god. Okay, it's, it's so it's, crazy. It's in the place where people are educated. Why? Man? Why do you kill <laughs> people, man? Oh, he's alive. He's alive. I can't believe it. He's alive. He's back maybe. Yeah, he's he's, he's for back last he, three months back. Huh? Yeah, he he's he's uh he came back for part two. I still regret that moment. He became one of the India's most viral memes. When it was happened, Ani? When? Ages ago. Ages ago. He looks very young, man. He slapped her back. Now he's just trying to get famous I think because of it again. I hope I hope he is uh, safe from that. Man. I think why is he talking about it? So he wants to make money now. Now he wants to get back on TV. Yeah, exactly. Maybe this but channel wants to do it. Yeah, but he could have also said no, right? We also ask people to come on the show and people tell now us no. Yeah. So they want he wants to get famous. There was mixed reactions. <laughs> it was in 2009? I I thought it was way later, but whatever. That's crazy, man. Crazy, huh? Well, I'm happy that he's still alive, though. <laughs> you love that such kind of content, yeah. <laughs> it would have been funnier if he was dead, but it's still pretty good that he's alive. I'm happy for him. <laughs> he doesn't seem like he's regretting it too much, though. <laughs> he was right up with 60 people. <laughs> Same oh time? Get out. Same time. Maybe maybe yeah, yeah. 
fuck you know. 80% of the people that saw him. <laughs> the person who's left. <laughs> Is it the same girl again? Is she back? Uh, wouldn't that be amazing <laughs> if he did like another TV show now and now he's with like like the same girl? Yeah, looks good. If this Bollywood fucking TV show doesn't have that same girl like at some point in the series slap him, I'm gonna be upset. I think I'm I'm sure he's not serious then. <laughs> now he cannot do that, man. Uh, maybe now he's getting paid to do it. His, uh, maybe he's famous, that's why he's getting that opportunity. It's a strange, no? In India? Crazy, yeah? We have reality shows there. Uh, if you're like any famous somewhere, somewhere, on social media or something, they will take you on reality shows. And in reality shows, uh, they are not worried what quality you are going to share or what good things you are going to share. It's Dan, like show us the most famous slap, arguably, which is with Will Smith, obviously. Will Smith one is the most famous one, isn't it? The recent one. Yeah, that changed the world. When Will Smith slapped that comedian, that everything went crazy. Nothing went crazy. Everybody is just like, so yeah. You say that, that, but look at David Chappelle. Mm. You remember he'd stand up and then yeah. somebody tried to attack him with a knife? Yeah. That way. Yeah. Every Now everyone thinks it's like, okay, now. If, if Will Smith can do it, then why can't I? Crazy, huh? So be careful. <laughs> now you have to be really careful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at that third image right there at the bottom. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that face. It's memes all over the world, you know? Oh. I, I thought it's, it's just fun and they just made it up. For two days, nobody really believed it, you know? You know, the only reason... He's, uh, he's one of... Uh, I have one of friends who is very, you know, a relative of uh, Smith. He's li he lives in Bahrain. I mean, sorry, Saudi. Oh yeah? Did he ask him? Is he? Does he slap? Yeah, I, I ask him, what happened to Smith? He's like, oh, come on, leave it. And he, uh, I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah, why you ask? You think he's bullshitting? What about him? Yeah, that his cousin? No, no, he's. Yeah, he thinks that's true. He's not. Uh, yeah, cousin. Like, uh, he's a friend. Like a, yeah, not very close co cousin, man. Okay, he's just black. <laughs> he's, also, he's also black, <laughs> but he was in America and he shifted to uh, Egypt and Saudi. Yeah, all his family here. He's one of the gems, man. I don't know. You should, you should ask him. <laughs> you should tell him when he goes to see Will Smith that he should get slapped too, so he can take a picture. <laughs> yeah, they are not that close, like no. <laughs> for sure. I think, I think that really fucked up Will Smith's life. Who? After that slap, I think that really. Yeah. I think. For sure, man. It's um, it's a uh, point of like you are talking about morality. You are talking about someone who is like you know, okay, this kind of personality now. Brilliant, Dan. You are on the ball. You are on the ball. I think he lost all all organizations. Yeah, I think a lot of people like pulled out funding and didn't want to work with him anymore. It happened with I think uh, Elon Musk also once. Hmm. Will Smith wins Best Actor at Beat. Oh, this is this was at the day, yeah. So now he's a co-star. He doesn't. He's not even a. F they're not hiring him as lead star anymore. Why did they choose that picture? They 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 chose that picture for a reason. They want me. They want you to feel bad for Will Smith. Like, oh, he just slapped someone. Maybe they love him much. Yeah. And they even made that part bold. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock for making a joke about his wife. What would you do, man, if it was 
You are such rich man. You are you are a kind sir. If it was if he was making fun of my wife, I would wait till the show was after, and then I would go and beat him up. I wouldn't go on on For camera. For sure, they they know that you did it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wouldn't I wouldn't like stand up and then walk in front of stage and then because you know he can do it because he has like achieved that that level and. But y- there are other people who are winning awards. And you're taking all their, 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 their... It's always the po- point of debate, man. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? So imagine you're having an award, right? Yeah. And your final award, people recognizing you, they're saying, finally, and you're like there, and you're going, oh, yeah, finally. And then 10 minutes before, Will Smith slaps cr- Chris. Yes. Nobody's going to care about your award anymore. Yes. Right? The whole world will be talking about Will Smith. I think he even did not know that it will go that level, man. For sure. I, I think he must have. You know, the only reason that we even have the footage was because of Japan. Because they, when, when, Chris, when, when, when Will Smith like, slapped him, they immediately paused the footage on the recording uh, in the U.S., but Japan had the continuous feed, and that's the only reason. Really? Yeah. That's the only reason. And then Japan gave it to the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine like, uh, someone like him who is talking and even preaching uh, doesn't have the response time, man. Can you think of, can you imagine if Japan didn't release that video, nobody in the world would have known. Like nobody would have seen the, the video clip. People would have talked about it. Yeah. And then nobody would have been like, oh, you think that's real or you think that's bullshit? True. Crazy, Crazy, huh? Man, this is something very good to, uh, somebody needs to l- really learn how to wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It reminds me of one of the incident, uh, since I'm, uh, I'm in working field also, People will play around you with your mind also. It's like one of the incident was like uh, my ex senior or senior manager before. He's like, okay, you have to help this new employee uh, to stay back or fire him, fire him in such a way that nothing happens to him. Okay. And he also states after that that okay, you do you even know that your uh, your boss doesn't like you? You know, he's he's giving me this negative words and making me, you know, think in completely different way. And when when somebody says your boss is like that, and he is talking about you uh, behind you, uh, ill about you, what do you? How do you feel? I'm like, how come he's talking about me and behind me? You feel so bad, and you feel like you want to take action against all of them, man. For me, it was like I waited for one one day. After one day only, I took all the decisions. Mm. I said, okay, he wants to go out. I will help him and make sure that he is not dragged uh, to the airport, uh, the employee, mm. you know, just like others do. Mm. But take care of him, man. Make sure that he, he, he doesn't lose his career here. So I took in smooth way. It was a realization that somebody is really playing around with your mind. If I just took his, imagine if I took his words, and got depressed and not taking any action or took action which is against like yourself. your belief yeah you are really messing up then you're gonna regret for that but today i i uh, i just let me thank myself to just you know making sure that i took response time but you, know? you what how would you feel though if you took the response time and you did it and then he stabbed you in the back if then he's doing you do if you do, if he's doing in front of you, it's a different thing. Yeah. yeah. If he's doing behind me, it means I'm in front of him. Because I, because I had a friend of mine who who pretended so so he works at a like a like a like you know extra. Yeah. He works like a shop like extra, and uh, his friend was asking him, oh, can you please give me a job? You know, I'm looking for a job. Blah blah blah. So he talks to his boss. He gets hired, right? Mm. His friend then comes in drunk, you know, comes late. Blah, blah, blah. So the f- boss has to now fire him. And then the boss goes to him and says, why are you bringing these people into my business? Blah, blah, blah. Now he looks bad as well. Yeah. Because it, it looks like you are planning. That exactly. Way. Yeah. So how do you get to know? Yani? The way the hiring happens here. It's crazy. It's, I know. it's not like any. I think they should have a podcast type of interview. <laughs> 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 because the way interviews ha- happen with me, I'm like, they never saw my... Uh, all the you know the full of certificates the files and whatever i had never seen uh, the certificates they don't they, they did not even check if, if i have that degree also hmm. 
Most like, businesses okay. don't check about if you have a degree. They're like, okay, uh, you have you, you you the way you are speaking, you're more confident. Close, you're in, man. All my interviews. When can you start? Tomorrow? Perfect. <laughs> That's it. One of the interviews I went with uh, pajama and I did not plan that interview. It was like we j- we just wanted to meet, and 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 the person says I have these these problems. Okay, I'll I'll help you, man. So he's like, okay, you have to join me then. I said, when do you want me to join you? That's it, Yani. This is w- this was my interview and selection. How much how much you uh, how much are you earning? This much I am already earning. Okay, let's start with that. Perfect. Well, well. So you you were engineer. Yeah, there's. I this was I an I engineer job. This all thing. If you're b- coming to Bahrain, you cannot have the engineer job yet. Here or, or you whatever. Dream, you dream of uh, you know come joining what do you call Babco or yeah. something. It, it never Forget happens it. like that. Although I'm born 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 Bahrain, but uh, you you have I got my education from India, mm-hmm. Bangalore, engineering college, biotechnology. So when you come back here, you realize that it's not it's not allowed. Yeah, yani this kind of education is not even recognized here. Even if it is recognized, uh, or, or because biotechnology was something new, they can take it to chemical engineering also. But uh, you have to be Bahrain about ba- ba- for that. Yeah. And you don't want to do another degree here in Bahrain and then be done. Yeah, maybe yeah. But I was like later on, I realized that uh, job kind of life, I won't go for it. Today also. Uh, my resume i never ad- update my resume i feel like come on i'm i i'm not looking for a job kind of thing yeah i respect i still work but as a creative b- background uh, i thought like more into business is much better so 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 you went from engineering and then how did you get from up education to engineering i came here because my father is here sure but how did you end up in art then how did art, you do graphic art design is like art is like my passion right i start uh, it was passion from the beginning okay so uh, but you never did any courses no. uh, self taught everything it was self taught and recently i realized that i should really take up some courses